43-year-old Zhao Zhao was killed, and her two young children are fighting for their lives after being bludgeoned with a hammer by their 47-year-old roommate, Leong Ye. At around 2pm on Wednesday, the 23rd of August, authorities responded to a 911 call reporting an assault in progress at an apartment building at 531 52nd Street, between 5th and 6th Avenues in Brooklyn, New York. When officers arrived at the residence, they found Zhao beaten to death with a hammer. Her two children, a five-year-old boy and a three-year-old girl, were also attacked and are in a critical condition fighting for their lives in hospital. Investigators said that the suspect, Leon Yi, who was a roommate, was arrested while trying to leave the building with blood all over his body. The hammer used in the attack was recovered. The apartment they lived in had three bedrooms, which were occupied by three separate families. The victim and her children occupied one room, the suspect and his nine-year-old son another, and a single adult occupied the third. Investigators said that the mother and the attacker had gotten into an argument before the attacker bludgeoned her and her children with a hammer. The suspect and the victim had been fighting over rent, the use of the shared kitchen and Wi-Fi, as well as noise complaints. They lived there together for years and their frustrations had been building. The young has no prior arrests and does not appear to have a history of mental health issues. The young's been charged with murder and two counts of attempted murder. The investigation into the matter continues. 36-year-old Matthew Lord is behind bars for beating two men in the head with a metal baseball bat in separate attacks that left one of the victims blind. At around 6.10pm on Saturday the 19th of August, Matthew was riding a skateboard in Astoria Park near the intersection of 19th Street and Dipmars Boulevard in Queens, New York when he struck a 46-year-old man in the back of the head with a metal bat. The victim fell and hit his head on the pavement and lost consciousness. The victim was taken to Elmhurst Hospital and was treated for hematoma to his left ear, swelling, bruising and a laceration to his forehead. At 6.21pm while still skating, Matthew came up from behind a 79-year-old man near 2017 19th Street, about a third of a mile down the road and hit him in the head with a metal baseball bat. After knocking the victim to the ground, Matthew repeatedly struck him in the head and face, breaking his skull and eye socket. The victim was taken to Cornell Hospital where he underwent surgery to save his eye, however he lost vision in that eye. About an hour after the attack, Matthew was located nearby with his skateboard and metal baseball bat. He was arrested on attempted murder, criminal possession of a weapon and assault charges, and is held without bail. Authorities said that the attacks were random and unprovoked. The investigation into the matter continues. 25-year-old Christian Ketchup and his 23-year-old girlfriend Rachel DeRise were arrested after 25-year-old Tierra Binion was beaten then fatally shot. At around 1am on Wednesday the 23rd of August, an argument broke out between Tierra and Rachel inside a bar called Mugs and Jugs along Sandy Highway in Pensacola, Florida. They then went outside to the parking lot and began fighting. During the fight, Christian jumped in between the two women and punched Tierra and knocked her out cold. Rachel then started beating Tierra while she lay unconscious on the ground. Christian then pulled out a handgun and shot Tierra seven times. A short time after the incident, Christian contacted deputies and turned himself in. Christian is charged with murder and is held at the Escambia County Jail without bond. And just after midnight on the 24th of August, Rachel was arrested and charged with battery, but was released at 4am after posting a $15,000 bond. Tierra is survived by two young children. The investigation into the matter continues. A 53-year-old woman has been investigated for fatally shooting a 34-year-old man when a domestic dispute escalated. At around 1.30am on Monday the 21st of August, authorities responded to 113 East Oak Hill Drive in Palaka, Florida after receiving a call from a residence in reference to a domestic disturbance. The disturbance quickly spiralled into gunfire being heard over the 911 call. When officers arrived on scene, they located Tyrone Coley in the backyard of the residence in a critical condition with a gunshot wound. He was transported to hospital, where he was later pronounced dead. Regina Daniels advised officers that she had shot Tyrone. Authorities said that the two lived together. Court records show Regina filed for child support payments from Tyrone in 2011. The case was reopened in 2018 and closed again in March this year. Authorities said that detectives are still investigating the matter and Regina is cooperating with law enforcement. No arrests have been made to date. <laughs>